Now, I'm not trying to compare to any other rapper, but do you get that, you know, people from, people saying, like, you you look like Wiz Khalifa. You know, do you get that a lot? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, I do. I mean, you know, I'm really it's the tattoos, you know. Uh, yeah. Wiz Khalifa got a lot of tattoos. I got a lot of tattoos, you know. Um, Wiz Khalifa used to flip his hat up. You know what I'm saying? I flip my hat up. It's just certain things that, you know what I'm saying? We kind of got the same steeds. We kind of got the same swag. So people kind of just, you know, my thing is like when you're really a nobody and you're trying to be a somebody, somebody who you're always trying to be like somebody who's already a somebody. They always going to compare you to somebody. You feel me? If I didn't have tats, they would be saying I was trying to be a new boy. But you know what I'm saying? They always going to compare you to somebody when you're coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, tune in. It's going to be Dizzy D. Versus Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> 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 nah, but uh, that's what's up, though, man. Now, you just released a hit, you know, not too long ago called Sucker Shit. And uh, explain that a little bit. Ex- explain, like, the meaning of that song. Well, Sucker Shit, um, uh, I-, I heard Tupac say it. You know what I'm saying? We heard Tupac say it or whatever. And basically, we, we just started kind of saying it and shit out here. And um, mm-hmm. it was a situation that I had with some of my homies or whatever, where, you know what I'm saying, people kind of turned their back on me or whatever, and we felt like it was some sucker shit. So mm-hmm. I just went in. It wasn't, I didn't go in to really diss. I kind of went in to get my point across that, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, sucker shit is at an all-time high right now because when you coming up, you know what I'm saying, you, 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 you tend to have problems with your friends. And you tend to have problems with people saying you changing when you're just trying to do what you love to do. So, yeah. sucker shit is at an all-time high because I'm on the verge of really making it big. You know what I'm saying? This dude named Jeff did the beat, man. Cool dude here from Vegas. He just Ooh. real laid-back dude. You know what I'm saying? He just enjoy making beats. So, yeah, he the one who make me. Where were you born? Were, were you born in Las Vegas or where were you born? Nah, I was born in Flint, Michigan, and um, I moved to Las Vegas when I was a when I was a young dude. Now explain to my listeners where you got the name Dizzy D from. Well, I got the name Dizzy from my from my grandpa. It was a um, it was an instrument player. His name was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Dizzy Galipsky. And um, my my grandpa loved him, loved loved his work and everything. So he named me after him. Now, D, uh, the D came from like a joke, you know what I'm saying? Dizzy D Flashy, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a part of my crew, Flashy Inc. And you know what I'm saying? Everybody used to call me Flashy. And D was just like a joke. D actually stands for daddy, you know what I'm saying? But I, I was calling myself <laughs> Dizzy Daddy Flashy, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? It was like a joke, but then I just changed it to Dizzy D Flashy and I ran with it. Hmm. And, that's just how the name came about. Now these tattoos. I mean, I have about seven. You know what I'm saying? And I think I'm the shit. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> explain, explain what tattoos mean to you. A way to express yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's a way right. to... Growing up, it's a lot of music that I wrote that I lost in storage. It's a lot of shit that, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't able to keep with me. And as I start, I could put... I. I get tattoos basically to express myself, shit that I I can't lose, you know what I'm saying? Shit that I want to always remember, shit that I want to always be a part of me, and I just express them, you know what I'm saying, through the ink. We got to know, where's the upcoming mixtapes coming out? Like, where are they, man? What you got up your sleeve right now? Uh, Basically, I just dropped a mixtape called What Hip Hop Needs um, about, when did I drop What Hip Hop Needs? About a month ago. And, um... It's doing pretty well, you know what I'm saying? Right. It was, when I first came out, well, people, I really got noticed off of my jerk music, you know what I'm saying? I was doing the jerk music, but I didn't know that it was going to get that big. It was just something <laughs> we were having we were having fun it, with. It, it, it get big, too. Yeah. I didn't realize how big it was going to get. And um, basically, I feel like you have to... You have to create music and do music that people want to hear in order for them to get in order to get them to hear your real shit. You feel me? So you do your party music, you do your jerk music, 
and then you're able to come back with your real music just to get people to be like, damn, this kid really knows what he's talking about. So that's basically yeah. what I did. So my last mixtape, What Hip Hop Needs, was basically about life. Life for a 19-year-old, for a teenager. Just talking about all kind of different situations and stuff like that. And right now, I'm working on an album now. So, so, here, so here's on. a logical question. Here's a logical question. What does hip hop really need? I mean, you have people saying, you know, hip hop needs it needs this artist right here. You know what I'm saying? It needs this artist right here. He's dope. He's dope right here. Hip hop really needs him. But to you, I mean, in your mind, man, what is hip hop? What does it really need? You know, if, if if not an artist or whatever, what? I mean, does it need like, you know, some kind of, of beat? You know what I'm saying for a person to express their stuff? But what is it? What does it really need? You know what I'm saying? Nah, hip hop. Hip hop really it needs honesty. You know what I'm saying? It seems like everybody's trying to be alike. Everybody wants to be thug. Everybody yeah. wants to smoke. Everybody wants to be somebody that they're not. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop used to be, even if you listen to the old music, people who was really making a lot of money wasn't even talking about all the money all the time because they know they didn't really have it like that, like that. It right. It's like hip hop needs honesty. It needs people to start speaking about their life and not somebody else's life. Or, you know what I'm saying, hip-hop needs people, you know what I'm saying, to approach women in a different way instead of just bitches and hoes. Hip-hop right. needs, it needs energy. Like, I'm not saying that the party music isn't hip-hop or jerking isn't hip-hop. See, people got to understand, anything can be hip-hop, but I think we're making it too easy for people to get in the game. People feel like they can just come out and make a song about anything. And then next thing you know, it's on the radio. So right. I think, I think you know what I'm saying, some of these rappers, we need to start choosing rappers wisely. You know what I'm saying? We can't respect everybody who come out talking about they, they hold the cannon or, you know what I'm saying, they thug with it or, you know what I'm saying? Hip hop just needs some honesty, man. Even Jay-Z has an artist that inspires him. So since you're on your way up to the top very soon, what artists or artists inspire you the most? J. Cole. J. Cole and Eminem, man, them, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I like, I like Wizzle, man. I like Big Sean. I like, I like, I like some of them, but people who inspire me, J. Cole is the main one. Drake, you know what I'm saying? Them, like, them two artists between J. Cole, Drake, and Eminem, they amaze me, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't about what what you wear, you know what I'm saying? It ain't about the big jewelry. It, they just speaking, you can relate. I mean, sometimes you sit down and you listen to them, you be like, damn, I know exactly what he's talking about. Or, damn, that sounds like somebody I could kick it with. Yeah, yeah. When you can listen to somebody's music and feel that way, that's a great artist. That's a yeah. great artist. You feel me? That's what it is. That's what it is. Where can where can my listeners and, and fans all over the world, where can we find you at, man? Hey, y'all can find me on MySpace, MySpace.com slash Dizzy Wright, W-R-I-G-H-T. Y'all can find me on Facebook. Just type in Dizzy Wright. Y'all can find me on Twitter at Dizzy D Flashy. Y'all can find me in Vegas. Yo, sit up with my flashy and comey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm here, man. Y'all can find me. I ain't hard to find. Y'all can find me on 106 and Park, August 23rd performance. Y'all, man, just look for me. I ain't hard to find. I'm there. I'm right there in front of you. <laughs>